I've played a lot of Ultra since it came out, and one thing I haven't seen anyone do since I started is punish a Shoryuken F-ADC. The thing about the punish window is that no extra time was added to make it more unsafe, because that would affect dash speed. Rather, they lowered the block stun on the F-ADC-able hits of Shoryukens. This means the change has to come from you, the defender. You have to input your punishes earlier. I encourage everyone to go into training mode, record the dummy, and find the new reversal window. This change also means sure you can FADC backdash became a little more unsafe. You can tag these with a poke if you're watching for them, depending on your character. For most characters, it's impossible to option select between forward dash release and backdash. So you should try and find a good neutral option between the three. There's also a bit of confusion on which characters have minus 5 Shoryukens, which is in part my fault. Every character who has an invincible meterless Shoryuken that can FADC is minus 5. This includes Dan, Viper, Guile, Poison, and Decapri, but doesn't include Ibuki, Dudley, or Elena, as their non EX Shoryukens aren't invincible. Just because Shoryuken FADC is unsafe doesn't mean you should stop using them in footsies. They still fulfill an important mix up. Just be smart and weigh the risks versus rewards. EX sure you can FADC is exactly as safe as it was in AE 2012. If it cost 3 bars, it didn't change. Ken is the only character who retains a second hit FADC on non EX sure you can, but. His first hit is FADC minus 5, and second hit FADC is minus 7, so you can punish it a little harder. I've had several people tell me that moves need to be minus 6 or worse to be throw punishable, but sure you can FADC appears to be throw punishable from my testing. Also, there's no reason I'm aware of to do normal or EX sure you can red FADC unless you're evil Ryu, and even then it's a bad idea, so don't do it. That's all, and remember to like, comment, subscribe.